And it's Friday, 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 and 45 degrees doesn't feel better out there at all. JC. <laughs> hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. As you know, on this Friday morning, this is Athens in the AM. Let's get this party started this morning. Join me today. we got some rodeo guys in here this morning, don't we, Jason? Yes, sir. Jason Hughes, general manager over uh, Morgan yeah. County Celebration Arena, <laughs> the newest barrel racer, Mark Moody from down at... <laughs> Mark, you ever been on a horse? Yes, I have. Well, that tops me one. And Matthew, this weekend I want to get you to do barrel racing that they got going on at Celebration Arena. Sounds fun, man. Let's do it. Yeah, no, not let's do it. <laughs> let you do it. But you're, uh, you're going to ride a bull, right? I've done Again. that before. There ain't many things I ain't done before in my life, and we'll talk some of those in just a little bit. Frank, Abby, and Brad all in here this morning. <laughs> Will you be quiet? I'm trying to work here. We're babysitting once again, so y'all bear with us this week. We'll try to keep the little one quiet. This portion of the program, Ain't the Kitchen, always brought to you by Hometown Market. We were down that way yesterday. We'll share a photograph with you later on, too, about that. Playoffs start tonight, too. A few teams still in uh, contention here in North Alabama. Athens won, Falkville won, Tanner won. We'll talk about that a little bit more, too. And we'll talk about my favorite subject. No, it ain't me. I know y'all thought I was going to say that, didn't you? Bama football. We'll talk a lot about that in just a moment. And the Auburn-Georgia game. We'll make our predictions, Jason, in just a moment on that. Y'all know what I'm picking. Georgia by seven or by one. I don't care. Just beat them. They're good. I'll give them credit for that. All right, let's get it started here this morning. Here's Dory with the weather. It's 20. Mark comes in. Hey, it's cold outside. No, it was cold outside yesterday morning when it was like 23 freaking degrees when we got here. But now it's like 70 outside. Mm -hmm. I got to wear shorts this morning, Mark. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah. All right, let's get it started on a Friday morning. A little bit of chance of rain, but it's going to be a whole lot warmer, ain't it? It sure is. 45 degrees out there right now, and yes, it does feel much nicer than it has the last couple days. And not going to be bad as far as rain. They're saying we do have a 20 to 30% chance of those showers, so I think we'll be okay. High temperatures today pretty much sticking around 59, 60 degrees with low of 45. 46 that it 48 rather and tomorrow 67 for that high 56 for the low looks like saturday is the day for rain so keep an umbrella close not bad over the weekend as far as once the rain's over i know many of you have plenty to do on saturday come sunday it'll be beautiful and the rest of the week too two three oh four nine eight eight gets break how are you matthew doing well Mark? By yourself Mark. jason you need if you could get these guys out there and get them to participate in any sort of rodeo activity, right. that would be a first. Be interesting. Oh yeah, it sure would. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, like that guy over there. Probably yeah, yeah. we're talking. They, they got a barrel racing thing going on. What is that thing called? Starting with Diamond Hill Productions Barrel Race. When is that? It'll be today, tomorrow, and Sunday. That's a big deal going on nowadays. It's going to be a big. He goes all over the country. Kenny does. We'll check with him in just a little bit too. They're big time. And we'll buy a house. Y'all need to see Mark. It's That's right. a good area to be in. Mark, you may wonder, Jamie, why have you got that trophy of yourself over here in front of you? <laughs> yeah, we're wondering. Huh? All right, no. Again. Well, I know, but it's, hey, what happened to the 10 so, bucks that so were in here? It's right back here. Kept it away from Adam. All right, the uh, East Lauderdale News just came out. It says, hey, receiving the Chairman's Cup, which is the biggest deal of all, <laughs> just that one, two months ago, with Jamie and Gloria Cooper, that'd be me and her, uh, ZT and right. Athens, <laughs> Cooper and Company, broadcasting locally since 2003. We've been sure. here be 11 years in January. Thank y'all for all the gifts, Matthew. Yeah, well, uh, my pleasure. And folks, you know, people and places in the Tennessee Valley, therefore, because of Jamie's great dedication and his 40 years in television, being a legend that he truly, you know, that really ain't in here, don't you? No <laughs> kidding. We want to present him with this trophy. Thank you. You know, you would we're supposed to applaud. Can you get How many awards you ever won being a real estate agent? Oh, I've seen your office. Many. Yeah, I know. How about bringing the floor? Yeah, this is my only one I've ever gotten here, unless Jason's going to give me one. Yes. Well, good luck with that. I know you won being uh, Chick fil A Person of the Year. We won a couple He's of things. He's gone on trips, yeah. too. Yeah. So it's it's He's good. Been able yeah, to go he gets trips. to go to all the ball games down in Atlanta. Yeah, we know, Matthew. You're big time. <laughs> well, not quite. Yeah, not you quite. are. Just, just yeah, you are. Guys. Yeah. Just the whole scheme of things. Yeah, you are. All right, let me talk about the big news in football yesterday. The top prospect in America chose over Michigan and Florida the mighty Crimson Tide. Yeah. Sean Hand, that's right. Okay. Number one recruit in the nation, Jason. Verbally committed to the top ranked Bama when Alabama should win another five national championships in a row after we do a beatdown on Auburn. Boy, I don't know if I'll be able to stand that week or not when it comes up Iron Bowl. 
You going? No, I'm not. I'm not going down there. So, if Auburn does beat Georgia, Jason, I know you're a Bama fan, as we all, most of us are, except Brad in the back. Uh, <laughs> Twice in the back, right? <laughs> right well, USA Today back. this morning, Auburn must show medal before Iron Bowl. <laughs> Woo! It's gonna be a tough. To entertain one. the kid here, man. Yeah. Come on. I can't walk with you. <laughs> Auburn, if they were to beat us, Matthew, where would they move up in the rankings? Jason said number one. <laughs> they uh, should be. No. Only in their own mind. Huh? Only in your own mind. Right. I, I think they'd still fall around three. If everything plays yeah. out and everybody keeps winning, I just think they'd have a hard Would time. Would I be able to show that. my face the week after? That'd be a good time to take the month off. <laughs> That'd be a tough one for you. That would be yeah. a very tough one for me. But anyway, let's talk about a little bit of local stuff right now. Athens plays tonight. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. The community of Falkwell has really gone whole hog. If they win tonight, it'll be the first time they've won. Even that restaurant right there, which usually closes at 5 on Friday nights, is staying open till midnight to accommodate the people over in Falkwell, Alabama. And the, the other picture is the picture of the police chief and another policeman who both played ball at Falkwell. They win tonight, Jason. That's where Darrell's from. Mm -hmm. Will be the first time since 1924 they won 10 games. Oh. Wow. So, Falkville. Well, I'm hoping they win. The coach was up here a couple of weeks ago, so good luck to them. Mark, I'll give you a little trivia question since you uh, appear to be the smart one of the bunch. Yeah. That's right. Huh? Uh, uh, yes, sir. You got Let's it, Mark. You USA got Today's got this. Oh, When's man. the first day of Hanukkah? I have no clue. <laughs> Is it the Wednesday before Thanksgiving this year? I know I should have gone to you first. <laughs> Take some turkey, add some uh, some sort of bread, mix in a dozen social media feeds, a dash of holiday season anticipation result, a celebrate a recipe for celebration sale. You not doing anything special with this? I'm I'm not. This year's rare convergence of Thanksgiving and the first day of Hanukkah, which I think must be on Thanksgiving, so you missed it by one day. One day. Oh, Listen. it's on Thanksgiving. It's brought about. A thing of money-making opportunities, Mark, and we're missing out on it. The last time this overlap occurred was before Frank was born. Do we need to know this? <laughs> Long time ago. 1888. Wow. And you know the next time it will occur? No. 78,000 years from now. Aren't you glad you know this? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing like having a head full of useful information. Well, this is in USA Day. I'm not USA making this useless. stuff up. How do you pronounce that word? Sometimes they stretch hey, <laughs> they stories. Need stuff. How, 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 do you, how do you pronounce that? Thanks, Hannah. Thanks, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> There's no... How do you pronounce it? What would you say? Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving. No H in there. Hey, we should have thought of that. We could have made some money on that. That's right. Internet sites and store shelves are filling up with items to celebrate the November 28th mash of the festival lights and everything else going on. I even saw the other day, it says now in schools, a lot of places, they, can't do, they can do Frosty the Snowman, but they can't do Silent Night and stuff like that. You're kidding. It's gotten ridiculous. You've heard that before. Mm -hmm. I've, I've heard that. I don't, I don't know about that's a, a problem or an issue around here, but uh, in some Not here, but yeah. in some places. It's not that way at Celebration Arena. It's not that place at Marmac Thank you. Real Estate. No, sir. Y'all still got 70 agents working over there? Thank you, Maddie. Yes, sir. <laughs> Almost that many. Uh, do y'all take still, any new agents? At, I've got two on coming new now. <laughs> they need to go through me to get through the process? Or? <laughs> I don't no. know. I, I need we'll to go ahead and get them you. in the door first. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put my trophy out here in case y'all didn't know that was about me. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Could we zoom in and get a tight shot of that just so we can all see it? You've seen it before. It's been up here for a month now. <laughs> I think it's made out of solid. Now, you know what? I think it's made out of solid gold. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You bought that? I said I had me. I know what they're made out of. <coughs> you know what Don Simons has offered me for that? <laughs> yeah. Why have you take it? <laughs> USA Today this morning. Yeah. People ages 18 to 30, Mark, this is yeah. going for you to say it's most important to be, and they did a survey here, happy, successful, rich, or famous. Happy. I'm going to go with happy, 76%. All right. Well, first of all, you can't be happy unless you got, you're successful. That's no, what that's I'd say. that's not true. What does 18 to 30-year-olds know anyway? Well, that's true. I think true. successful is what they see it. Yeah. Yeah, what is success to a 30-year-old or 20-something-year-old? Different to Moving out of mom and dad's you. house. You know how much it, well. Probably still living at mom and dad's dealing house. Dealing with real estate now, how much do you see that happening? <laughs> Oh, it, I mean, 30s when they start living, you know, moving out, living, you know, living their lives. They live with mom and dad till, till they get established with that 
you know, first job or I was divorced job. the first time at 30. <laughs> yeah, but that's no offense, Abby. I, yeah, I was married at 18, so you know. I was married at 20. Look how we turned out. Well, Jason, see, you got to learn to participate in all this stuff here. So you ain't old enough to have lived the kind of life me and Mark have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's you know, just taking it all in. You, you know, say anything else about that? All right, I got a couple of things about me. It's six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's right. You got to be prepared, boys. All right, somebody get the dog out of here. He's bugging the crap out of me this morning. All right, Matthew, good news here. They did a survey. Alabama would be favored on CBS.com sports. If Alabama played either Florida State, Baylor, or Ohio State, Alabama would be a favorite over each and every one of those teams. Uh, it says here Alabama would be five and a half points over Florida State, seven over Baylor, and nine and a half over Ohio State. Mm. Now, let's get down to the big game. Let's make a prediction this oh, weekend. Okay. Georgia, Florida, what do you what you say, Jason? Georgia, Auburn. Georgia, Auburn, I mean, yeah. I, I give Auburn a 10. What? Yep. Wow. What is wrong you with you? You got to play for the home team. <laughs> Auburn's in Alabama. That's right. I Ooh. agree with him. Okay, so you're going to pick Auburn too. Yes, I am. I know you ain't. Over Georgia. Okay. He knows what Matthew's Matthew. going to say. Well, I, I, I'd like to see Auburn lose. Just, you know, it's good, good to rub that in Brad's face when I come up here, you know, so it's always enjoyable. But I... I I don't know. I think they'll give Georgia a good game. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, see Auburn pull one out. So I think they could beat them. I, I'd go with I'd go with Auburn 24-21. <laughs> you have if you're asking my my honest opinion on what's going how much would you say the score was 24-21. You know what I predict? Jason's already bragged on me outside. Oh uh, why? What did I say last week up there? I said, Bama scored 38, and we'll beat them by 20. I missed it by one. I'm a prophet. Close, man. Oh I'm a my prophet. goodness. Pretty close, kind of. Do you have some money? There ain't no, no kind of. Well, what are you saying? <laughs> are you going to tell you what you're going to say? <laughs> yeah. yeah, what's her answer? Yeah, why don't you speak for me? I'm going to. <laughs> I'm saying, Frank, who are you going with? I've got too many uh, Auburn buddies, so don't speak for me. I don't have no Auburn friends. <laughs> <laughs> John D. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to go with Auburn getting beat by Georgia 27 to 20. Mm. By one touchdown. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see. It, it should be a good game. Be. I, I'll take so. it, be it. <laughs> Jason, We're I'm doing a morning program real. here. I do not gamble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not gamble. I won't no. let them. <laughs> I mean, it could be a 40, it'd probably be a 40 something point deal there. But you, you saw what the uh, Wall Street Journal did, didn't you? They did an open letter in their sports department saying, please, Auburn, Gus Malzahn, please beat Bama and put us out of our misery with them winning everything there is. Now, Gus has done an amazing Well, Zahn says he's not read the article yet. He's too busy. He's Somebody too wrote on comments that they look like he needs a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good terrible. coach, man. He's, he he's done a lot for him this year. He's got a good so. story. All right, Mark, before I forget you, on, on your uh, thrift yeah. store over there beside the, what do y'all need for this time of year? We need furniture, big items. Big items help us through. Big items are what people need. They need they they need furnishings. So you don't need clothing and coats and stuff like that. We don't turn anything down. Okay. But, but, you know, and that is Marmac Thrift Store, right? Marmac Charity. Charity, right there Spoke next to your thrift store on Central Parkway. All right, Jason, we're gonna get back with you just a little bit later on this morning. We're gonna meet these fine folks here, learn how to barrel race just. That's a big deal across the country now, isn't it? It's getting bigger all the time. Is it mostly women or both? No, it'd be women and men. Women and men. Okay, so yeah. women are big in that too. And a lot of young girls do that too, yeah. across here. All right, we'll take a break on a Friday morning edition of Cooper Company Live, y'all. Hang on.